Hello and welcome to Intermediate Financial Accounting 1, Tutorial 18b. This is the second of uh, two tutorials that are focused on estimating inventory using the gross profit method. This tutorial will emphasize our calculations based on markup percentage, whereas Tutorial 18a uh, used the uh, gross profit percentage. This tutorial can be viewed independently of Tutorial 18a. So our learning objective here is, again, using the gross profit method, estimate the value of ending inventory using the markup percentage over cost, or MU percentage. And this tutorial still uh, is based on the Manzir Corp example, emphasizing requirement two, which is to count using the gross profit approach to determine the value of the damaged cork flooring inventory, this time assuming Manzir's average markup percentage over cost is 40%. This is different from gross profit. Gross profit is how much profit exists after deducting costs from sales, but markup percentage is how much markup over cost the sales price is determined to be. So the approach to resolving this is very similar at the beginning to the uh, gross profit percentage approach. We begin with our opening inventory of 450,000. We add in purchases of 975 and freight of 27,000 to give us purchases at cost of 1,452,000. And then we still deduct any purchase returns and discounts that we have. And these numbers are the same as we saw in tutorial 18A so 60,000 in purchase returns and 15,000 in purchase discounts, giving us cost of goods available for sale of 1,377,000. So the calculation of the cost of goods does not change from the gross profit percentage approach. The next step, again, is to, to determine what our sales were, so 1,900,000. But this time, where in the previous example, we deducted our gross profit and we knew what it was, in this case, we still are going to have to deduct gross profit, but the problem is we don't know what the gross profit is. This problem does not give us the gross profit percentage, it gives us the markup percentage. And so, as I had indicated before, markup over cost, or MU percentage, is not the same as the gross profit percentage. And so what we have to do is, based on the markup percentage, calculate what the gross profit percentage is to be able to then to complete our calculations in estimating the ending inventory. And how we go about doing that is we can just make uh, assumptions using a very simple model. So if we assume that our cost on something is a dollar, and if we know that our markup over cost is 40%, then the sales price on it is a dollar 40. And so our gross profit on that is 40 cents, which is $1.40 minus $1. But please do not confuse this 40, 40 cents with 40%, okay? In order to figure out the gross profit percentage, we must take the gross profit of 40 cents and divide by the sales. So we take our gross profit and divide it by the sales to get the gross profit percentage. So in actual fact, if we take 40 cents divided by $1.40, then our gross profit is 28.57%. So here's sales minus costs is gross profit. We take this number divided by $1.40, and that gives us 28.57%. Uh, so a markup of 40% is the same as a 28.57% gross profit. So this is a gross profit percentage versus a 40% markup percentage. Having said that, if you want to have a little formula for it, we can calculate the GP percentage as being the markup percentage divided by one plus the markup percentage. So our GP percentage is 40% or 0.4. Again, this is not 40 cents. It happened to be 40 cents if we use a dollar as the cost, but if our cost differs, then of course the actual dollar value used. So these are based on the percentages. So if we take 40%, which is 0.4, divided by 100% plus 40%, this is the same as 40% divided by 140%, right? And that gives us 28.57%. So that's the formula. 
the markup percentage over one plus the markup percentage. And if you take everything back to decimals, then it makes perfect sense. So 0.4 divided by one plus 0.4 gives you 0.4 divided by 1.4, and there's your 28.57%. And now we can put this back into our calculation. If we know our sales were a million nine, and our GP percentage is 28.57, then our estimated gross profit then is $542,830. So please make sure that you watch this very carefully. We're not deducting 40% gross profit like we were in the previous example um, because in uh, tutorial 18a we were given a gross profit percentage of 30%. Here we're given a different percentage and we must back calculate the GP percentage. And then what follows from here will be exactly the same as under the previous uh, tutorial. So a million nine less our uh, gross profit of 542,830 gives us estimated cost of goods sold of $1,357,170. Then if we take our estimated cost of goods sold off our cost of goods available, so COGA minus cost of goods sold will give us ending inventory. So ending inventory on hand is estimated to be 19,830. And if all of this was damaged, then all of that would be the amount that would be claimed for insurance purposes. But of course, the next step is going to be to deduct the undamaged inventory. And so we determine our undamaged inventory to be the sales value right, as, as uh, provided in the problem, 22,000. But this time, right, our cost of goods sold percentage is, of course, the leftover from the uh, from taking the um, gross profit percentage off of the sales. So 71.43% is calculated as 100% minus the GP percentage of 28.57. So that's how we arrive at this. So taking $22,000 sales value of undamaged inventory times 71.43% gives us $15,715 of undamaged or salvageable inventory. Then that means the estimated damaged inventory is only 4,115 and that's how much be, would be claimed for insurance purposes. And now we'll end with our key points to remember. First, Determination of cost of goods available for sale is the same regardless of the percentage provided. So gross profit percentage or uh, markup percentage, we still have to determine the cost of goods available for sale. The other thing to remember, of course, is that markup over cost, or the MU percentage, is not the same as gross profit percentage. And therefore, if a problem gives us the markup percentage, we must calculate the gross profit percentage. This is a common error made by students. They misread the problem uh, or forget that markup is not the same as gross profit. And we can calculate the gross profit as being the markup percentage divided by one plus the markup percentage. So this concludes tutorial 18b on estimating ending inventory using the gross profit approach based on markup percentage over cost.